Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Valve Pal. With me I have Cody. Cody is 26 years old and about one month ago had an injury where he was skiing and landed on the shoulder. He took a posterior blow. It dislocated anteriorly, ended up in the emergency department and uh, they reduced it. And soon after that started to develop this considerable weakness into abduction flexion, extension, and obviously you could see where he developed this significant atrophy here, okay? Now, Cody was here to see me over 10 years ago for a grade three AC joint separation, uh, and uh, he's done very well, functioned very well, no problems from that, but here we suspect he sustained an axillary nerve palsy, probably because of the blow and the dislocation, getting an excessive stretch to that axillary nerve. The other thing that we've noticed is Right on the outside of that distal deltoid area, he has loss of sensation right in that area, correct? So if I compare the two, he can't really feel this over here. So classic sign that axillary nerve controls the deltoids and also controls the teres minor. So he loses a little bit of that active external rotation along with abduction. So what I want to do is I want you to take a look, first of all, at the nice bulk that he has here and the atrophy that he has over here. So that's a classic sign. You can see the humeral head is kind of sticking out just because we don't have that bulk over the top of it. So classic sign there. Now he functions very well. He's a very active guy, but I'm gonna show you what kind of, you know, teases this apart uh, from everything else. So number one, he had a trauma. If he came in here and had this without a trauma, I'd be suspicious of either a Parsonage Turner type syndrome. Maybe he received a vaccination. It's called Serva, where the injection is given to posterior and it hits that axillary nerve and can cause a palsy. Um, he could develop some sort of a virus uh, that contributes to this. So, um, and, and sometimes it's just a simple stretch mechanism where he overstretches that arm and could develop that. But we have a trauma associated with this and there is a higher incidence of having an axillary nerve palsy when you dislocate anteriorly. So I just want you to take a look at his range of motion and see how well he's doing. It's been about a month now since the injury, right? Yep. And, um, and so he's progressively getting strength back. So that's very promising that he'll have, you know, pretty much full recovery with this. So I'm gonna ask you to lift the arm straight up in front of you. Okay, that's not bad. And back down and out to the side now and all the way over the top. All right. But this is where we can really, you know, see where he's having some trouble. So if I take him out here to pure abduction and I bring him right up here, I'm going to ask him to hold that. So I'm going to isolate that lateral delt to hold that. And he can't. He collapses down like that. So the lateral delt is starting to activate a little bit, but it's not quite there. But because it is better than it was two weeks ago, it's very promising that it's going to continue to improve. So I'm um, not too concerned with that. I think at this point, we need to really start um, optimizing his motion, starting to activate those deltoid muscles, um, along with the Terry. So we're gonna take him into the horn blower position right here, and we're gonna have him hold, and I'm gonna try to push him internally, and he can't hold me there. Whereas on this side, if I compare it, okay, hold me, don't let me push, hold, 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 he's got nice strength there. So you can see where that Terry's minor is also affected on this side. So Cody, thank you so much for coming in today and for showing us this. Um, I wish you the best. I think you're going to do great. Um, we'll uh, talk about getting you on a, a good exercise program and uh, I think you'll uh, do really well. So hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, give us a like and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.